Here are the two governors, DeSantis and Christie. Christie, of course, former in uh, the great state of New Jersey, going after the former president of the United States. Joe Biden, he's completely missing in action from leadership. And you know who else is missing in action? Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. He should be here explaining his comments to try to say that pro-life protections are somehow a terrible thing. I want him to look into the eyes and tell people who've been fighting this fight for a long time. Donald Trump he hides behind the walls of his golf clubs and won't show up here to answer questions like all the rest of us are up here to answer. He put $7 trillion on the debt. He should be in this room. Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching, okay? And you're not here tonight. Not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on the stage and defending your record. You're ducking these things. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You keep doing that, no one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. Yeah, that wasn't the best nickname. And Donald, planned, and Donald Trump it? said this on True Social last night uh, to Fox News Digital, I should say. Anybody that would come up with the nickname... That nickname shouldn't be running for president, <laughs> Donald Duck. Like and, and the president is the master at it's that. The nicknames. You right. know, and, and one of the things. He I, gives that a thumbs down. I, I don't think Donald Trump liked the Republicans on the stage uh, criticizing him because after uh, the debate last night, Chris Lasavita, who is one of Trump's senior advisors, he called the RNC and said, you need to get from the former president. Uh, we need to cancel further debates so the party can focus on attacking President Biden. Not Donald Not Trump. Donald we'll see Trump. if he shows well, up in Alabama next. Well, Ron Lawrence. DeSantis. Yeah, Ron DeSantis actually challenged the former president on Sean Hannity's show last night after the debate to a one-on-one debate, and I thought that was interesting. I think people have been looking for that moment right there where Ron DeSantis would start to take Donald Trump on. Yeah. Obviously, they are the two leading candidates. The question is: Is it too late? I mean, I, I would have expected him to do this months ago yeah. because if he's if he's the big elephant in the room, yeah. you should be going after but, him. If the other candidates yeah. aren't really relevant, that's that's what he should have done but, earlier. But Lawrence, so, Vernon, I just I just wonder if it was if it's too late for that strategy. It was nice to see, right. um, but is it too late? You got to have a balance. Uh, you know, Chris Christie's a nonstop uh, going after Trump, but Chris, you you have to know that seven out of every ten people that you're talking to like Trump. They just have to like you better. So you don't have to leave Trump. Mm -hmm. You have to convince them that you're better than him because you agree with probably 75% of what he did. I think it's a real tough subtlety. I think if you go out too hard, people go, okay, you're, you're just one of the masses who's critical of Donald Trump. But if you say, I like what he did and here's what I would do better, that might be the strategy. And I, feel, and I think last night that that looked like the old Ron DeSantis last night. It's, it is interesting to watch the debates. I wish, I wish uh, Donald Trump had participated. But yeah. I feel like I'm watching the vice president debate. And I know they don't want to hear that. They all say, 100%. no, we're, we're running for president. But I feel like we're just trying to choose who Donald Trump is going yeah. to pick and who's going to be best for our country. And they're waiting in the wings, hoping that all these court cases, something happens and he's not able to run. And one of them will jump up. And, and be able to do it. And the same thing with the Democratic Party. I'm watching Gavin Newsom on with Sean Hannity after the, the debate. He's there in California. He's sitting with Sean Hannity. Sean's asking him, are you going to run? Would yeah. you put your hat in there? And he's like, no, no, no. I feel like the same thing is happening on the Democratic Party, too. And how about at the end, Lawrence and Stephen Bryan, when Dana said, you have a piece of paper in front of you. Right. Write down the name of the candidate you want off the stage. And <laughs> they, they all kind of agreed. We don't want to do this. Right. We don't want to shoot within the tent. Just but then she said, I noticed you, Chris Christie, you wrote something on your paper. He goes, I'll tell you, I wrote Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I want him off the stage. Yeah, but yeah, Ainsley, you're absolutely right. Uh, when you look at, given the fact that Donald Trump is so far ahead in the polls right now, it really, and, and you got Nikki and you've got uh, Ron DeSantis and Tim Scott and everybody else kind of clumped up in the mid-double uh, digits. 